welcome back to the channel. So hopefully you can tell what this is just by looking at it. So it's the 2022 M4 Competition X-Drive Convertible. It is a mouthful and it's the brand new one. Sao Paulo yellow, the soft top. So controversial for some people who grew used to the last two generations and the hard top convertibles. So obviously new X-Drive. That's the only way you're having the convertible and only in competition mode. So you have to suck it up if you don't like that stuff. But obviously one powered by the same S58 twin turbo inline six engine, 503 horsepower, 479 torques. And Sao Paulo yellow is the launch color, at least for the M4. So I believe the launch cover, at least with a press car, it was frozen pork mile blue with Silverstone interior and carbon bucket seats. So this one's got the Yasmarina blue interior. And the way this happened, way this car happened was uh, basically it's a Frankenstein of two different orders. So when the allocations were first released, I think every dealership got one of those cars. I think it was in September. So we had two in the order bank ready to go. I picked one. I thought it was the correct one. Turns out it was not. So I expected the car with one customer's order. Realized that the other customer was in first. And all I knew for him was that the color was Sao Paulo yellow and Yasmarina interior. And unfortunately, the original sort of build I put on there included an individual piece, which I'll discuss later and show you guys, which essentially locked the order before I could make any other changes. So basically it was only like two days before it was locked. Then both customers pulled out of, the, of their orders and were left with this Frankenstein M4 convertible. And holy crap, there's a fire orange F80 M3 in the background. Perfect to go along with the Sao Paulo yellow M4. So it's an F80 generation. I think I know whose car this once was. I mean, you don't see too many fire orange M3s around. Well, let's talk about options and what appears on this particular Frankenstein model. So we got the driver assistance professional package, $1,700. You can see one there in the grill. I don't really like specking uh, store inventory with the driver assistance professional package. It's because I think you really should be enjoying driving this car, even though long hauls, it, it does make a lot of sense. But uh, if you want one of those, come in and order it yourself. All right, so in terms of lights, we got the laser lights. Which I think are the way to go, another thousand dollar option. Sao Paulo yellow paint, five, oops, not five hundred. Sao Paulo yellow paint is included, it is a non metallic, thus no cost in terms of the color. We've got the 826M bicolor wheels with black calipers, which thankfully this is, it's worked out well with the Frankenstein nature of it, and we also see we got the P0s prefer the four S's, but that's the tire lottery for you. So let me see if I can get the top up. It should be with the lock button here. He says as it doesn't go up. I might have to enable that. Let me check in the settings. All right, let's take a walk around the rest of the car in sunshine. I think this is probably one of my favorite launch colors. It is basically loud. It is obnoxious as well. I think that's what it should be on an M4 convertible. But everything else is roughly the same as the M4. I think obviously the one the back end is going to be slightly different to accommodate the soft top convertible. Let's go explore on the inside and see what other options are in this Frankenstein M4 convertible. So we've got the Yasmarina blue interior. I think obviously one of the few colors exterior wise that go with the interior color. Probably get away with black. I've also seen it on Brooklyn gray. Not sure if it particularly works well with Brooklyn gray, but if you like it, that's great. Go ahead and order it that way. All right, so we got the neck warmers here an option on the convertible, so not standard. You can also opt for the carbon bucket seats, which we've already mentioned. But I really love the interior color. I mean, it goes really well with 
Sao Paulo yellow. The contrast yellow stitching here on the door. So this is extended leather, so it's not full leather here. So I don't have a leather dashboard or the upper uh, portion of the door card. I like the yellow highlights here. So same seats that you would get on the regular M3 or M4. Taking a seat. So we've got our familiar iDrive live cockpit. So this is in sport mode with M drive professional. You also get track mode. Our M mode is in sport, as I just mentioned, also in the heads up display sport mode. Our driving assistant professional goodie buttons over here on the left hand side, M1, M2. No parking assistance package. All right, let's talk options on this M4 convertible. So starting price, $86,300. So it is a significant increase over the M4 Competition Next Drive. I think probably by seven to $8,000, just ballparking that. We already talked about the driving assistance professional package, $1,700. Exec package on the convertible is $1,350. We got the individual aluminum trim, and this is what basically locked the car for me in terms of modifications, $1,080. And this is what it looks like. So you got that beautiful aluminum trim. Looks sort of like carbon fiber, but obviously it's not. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think here. So the standard way I usually spec cars is with the carbon fiber trim. Well, this is not a bad alternative, but again, $1,000 locks the car. But it doesn't look bad at all. And it's only a little bit more expensive than the carbon fiber trim. Which means you also do not get the um, M Performance. So you don't get the carbon fiber shift paddles. So this is what you get if you get the M Performance shift paddles. It looks just like this, just in carbon fiber. We've also got the M Drive Professional, which we talked about, $900, as well as the neck warmer for $650. Then we've got the laser lights, front ventilated seats for $350. And total price, MSRP, is $94,000. So not bad. So I couldn't get the... Uh, So I couldn't get the roof to go up, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Just engage it here. All right, so roof is coming down now. All right, so it's all the way up. Let's go take a look on the outside with the roof back up. We'll look in the back seat as well. So here's what it looks like with the roof up. So you can also get the roof in uh, the Moonlight. It should be familiar to you guys from other convertibles, the Z4 and of course the 4 Series convertible and the 8 Series convertible. But it doesn't look too bad. I think it, the black top goes well with the black accents around the car. And of course with Sao Paulo, so it's a nice neutral color against Sao Paulo. But uh, it doesn't look too bad. We'll go in on the roof. So so it's not completely like soft here. So there is some carbon fiber uh, panel basically underneath this thing. So you can't really get it cut open. So there's something that will protect you and your valuables. All right, so let's go back in. Get that. Get the roof back down. All right, so let's go into the back seat, which obviously with the roof down, pretty good in terms of headroom because you're essentially unlimited. So. Let's see, move the seat back. All right, so seat is back to where I would sit. And leg room is a little bit more compromised, I think, than in the coupe. Obviously, it's also a four-seater. So leg room, pretty tight. Shoulder room may also be a problem. That's probably why you only have room for two in the back as well. So you're basically 
to the right of where the driver sits. So a little bit odd in terms of seating position and feel, but it's not too bad in terms of comfort. So obviously I don't think I'd want to be back here for very long, but in a pinch, yeah, for sure. We've got our climate control zone in the back as well. Lovely seats, got the Harman Kardon sound system, which is standard on the M3, M4. Little head restraints in the back, look great. All right, so let me get out of here. So I'll show you a little bit more of the back seat as well without me sitting in it, so I can maneuver. All right, so this is what the back seat looks like. You've got the cup holders there, not integrated with the pull down in the center. So not too bad, but obviously you're not only fitting two people in here, in the rear, but it's not bad. We'll look at the uh, trunk as well. All right, so in the back, you've got pretty decent Luggage space, obviously with the roof down, you lose a little bit up here. But it's not too bad considering it is a convertible. Your floor mats here, no piping, unfortunately. That's not terrible. All right. I think that's about it for the features of the M4 Competition Convertible X-Drive or X-Drive Convertible, whatever you want to call it. So we have more convertibles on the way. This is the first one to arrive. We've got a customer, a couple of customer order ones coming in as well. So I think it will look pretty damn good. Hopefully I get my hands on. So we got an interesting one coming in, the customer ordered car, Sao Paulo Yellow on the exterior and Kalami Orange on the interior. I'm not sure what to make of that order or how it will actually work together, but we'll find out hopefully fairly shortly but that's it you got any questions about the m4 convertible drop them in the comments be sure to address them and we'll see you at the next video